I'm really excited about freelancers. Can you tell? Okay, so <laughs> that bit was over. God, that's really hot. It's really hot in there. My room is the one that has like the least amount of air conditioning in the whole house, and it's 100 degrees outside, 108 degrees outside, and this does not have any form of air conditioning in it, and I should never do that again, but it's so much fun. I'm going to put it on again. What if I just did my entire reaction like this? Like, what would you guys do? I'm actually kind of curious. Anyway, so this is Battle Scars, and I'm kind of concerned for this episode, actually. Um, I saw, I potentially saw some spoilers on Tumblr as people, like, there was a read more that was talking about, like, Carolina's, like, mental state or, like, what her thought process was during this episode. I'm very concerned for her because I love her. I love her very much, and I'm worried because I want her to be happy and safe and protected at all costs. So, oh god, I'm just, I am afraid, but at the same time, I, I really hope that, I know that they're at Agent Illinois' beach house, but I just, I want 4-7. Give me 4-7, please. Let's do this. Hello, Carolina. Episode, episode 10 is... Sorry, must have spaced out. Mm. Any luck? No sign of Agent Illinois. This is definitely his place, though. Mm-hmm. How can you tell? Aww. Really takes you back, huh? Sure does. Aww. You do look oh. Pretty sure I hit him for doing that. Same. He's our friend left in a hurry. The only thing missing from the place is his armor. But where did he go? No note. Your guess is as good as mine. Good call on finding him here, though. What do you remember about Agent Illinois? Demolitions expert. He wasn't top tier, but he was a crack shot with a rifle. I mean, out of armor. Oh, I never knew him. Illinois was always different. He wasn't ambitious or competitive like the rest of us. He didn't fight for an AI or screw over his friends to get placed Aww. higher in the rankings. Instead, he was doing a job and dreaming of the life after. Of an island chain that stretched around an entire planet. A shack by the water with a bar full of spiced rum and a tiny red sailboat. Go on the tiny red sailboat. He did it. I didn't realize you two were close. We weren't. He and York were drinking oh. buddies, though. I heard all about it hanging out with him. Uh, York, huh? This must reopen some old wounds. I I'm sorry. Sometimes I think York was my chance at a fresh start. I threw it down an elevator shaft. You're being too hard on yourself. You've changed over the years. I've seen it myself. I've grown from being a dishonorable killing machine to an honorable killing machine. That's quite the journey. Well, it's never too late to start over again. Do you really believe that, David? Well, I don't know if Rock Singer is really in your future, <laughs> but yeah. It was fun to watch them squirm, though, wasn't it? I changed my mind. You are evil. This is all I have left from York, from Freelancer. Just this and my armor. You don't have to do that. What about starting over? That doesn't I mean, mean letting go. You don't completely. have to destroy the past to have a future. Take off your suit. What? <laughs> I got an idea. Take it off. Okay, uh, that's a little forward. <laughs> no, not like that. The recovery beacons, that's the key. Excuse oh, shit. Me? Every suit that belonged to Project Freelancer was special. They all had recovery beacons in them so agents could be located if they were ever in distress. Personally, I didn't like the idea of walking around with an active tracking device. So you turned ours off, I remember. Well, maybe that's why we're still around. Whoever's been tracking down Freelancers has a way of following the beacons. So we turn ours back on and lure the hunters here? Unless you have a better idea. Can't say I do. So? Are you going to turn around? <gasps> yes. Sorry. <laughs> that was fast. Oh. Oh man, you are not going to believe this. Oh god. Canaries? Nope. Space pirates? Dumber. Don't tell me. The reds and blues? It's twice as bad as that. Both of them. Let me guess. Sarge built robot versions of everyone. Guess again. I'd really rather not. <laughs> Watch 
Carolina, meet Temple, Surge, Loco, uh, Robo, SpaghettiO, Bucket, Bucky, whatever. Bucky. And Jesus. Donut 2.0. Washington, Carolina. It's an honor to meet you both. What the fuck? Heck? Can you oh, explain heck? why there's two of everyone? They're from another gulch. That's why they look like us. Look, the whole story is long and complicated, and we need to get out of here ASAP. You really fucked up activating your beacon. That's how they're tracking us down. We were counting on it. We're luring them here. Well, lucky for you, we can do the same thing. Yeah, lucky. From our perspective, we set a trap, and you all fell in it. Well, your yeah. trap wouldn't have worked anyway. Uh -huh. The UNSC has a nasty habit of nuking from orbit first, asking questions later. The UNSC? That does not oh, explain well, Illinois. You guys haven't figured out what's going on yet. Score another for Team Tucker. You have? And Church? He's alive. If you come with no. us, we'll explain everything. No. That's quite a story. Temple only left out the part where Sarge fell in love with himself, and Simmons realized he can't stand his own reflection. What about the reporter? Did she leave? No, she's around here somewhere. We've been keeping her on a don't-need-to-know basis. Can't trust the press these days. Why not? She did your psyche vows. trustworthy to me. Well, we don't, like, know what her agenda and stuff is. I love but you, Lina. Tucker, but... She can get the real story out. She publicizes this insane plot by the UNSC to kill the ex-agents of- And Sim Troopers. We're people, too. If she can get the story out, it's game over. There's no easy way out of this. This ends with us taking the fight to those that would see us all dead. This ends in violence. What if it didn't have to? They killed your friends. They have church. And they need to be brought to justice. But what if for once it was in a courtroom or a court martial and not at the end of somebody's knife? Are you feeling all right? Our adversaries are too powerful. If we come at them now with just accusations, they're going to turtle up and ride it out. They're looking for us. They're poking their head out of their shell, and I aim to chop it the fuck off. Oh, yeah, boy. Anyway, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Wash talks and sends it to him. Wait until breakfast, at least. And breakfast is... Fish. Oh, come on. So sorry. Man, I'm gonna puke if I eat one more fucking fish. Hey, it's not like there's any cows or chickens swimming around our underwater la base. <clears throat> anyway. Our underwater uh, la how about layer. Layer. Grand tour. He's gonna lock him up. He's Just gonna lock here. him up. Sorry about the mess. You there is no to mess. Show us what? Uh, we've just gathered some relics from Project Freedom. Oh no. I thought you both would have oh, no. the collection. Collection? Oh, let me get the light. The armor. Recognize anyone? Oh man, that's Asian Arizona's armor, isn't it? In Maryland. There's Alaska. Oh, uh, I think you need to check your plumbing. No. The smell. It's them. Not sewage. I don't think these are just suits of armor. What? That's you. Jesus. Guilty. What did you do to them? Well, I killed them. I murdered them. I set my vengeance free upon them, and it felt so good. Wyoming? But not half as good as this feels. Well, if it's a fight you want... Then I think we can't oblige. <laughs> you know, I could never best you in a fight. Oh, anyway, no. Don't they say that revenge is a dish best Oh, served? no. Frozen. Ugh. Ugh. My greatest fear is that you would know me, Carolina. That you'd recognize my voice and the game would be up. Ada? Carolina. Iota? I can't. I can't move either. I'm locked. Uh, the armor lock technology Shit. was salvaged from Project Freelancer. Fate is not without irony. And the past is not without its just dessert. That yarn about the UNSC? They're not really killing freelancers. You are. Of course not. I am. Why? Because of what you did to us. For what she did, most of all. The record for staying alive in this room, locked in your armor, is 8 days and 11 hours. I know you've always been the most competitive of the oh, freelancers, Jesus. Agent Carolina. So do try to do better for me. 
the reds and blues will come looking. The reds no, they and won't. blues will be dead before they even miss you. So long, Agent Washington. No! So long, Carolina. Fuck, 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 what the fuck, jeez. God damn it, 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 god fucking damn it, jeez, motherfucker. Fuck. I hate being right. I really hate being right. Like, I knew, it, I knew it wasn't hidden well. Like, everyone and their mother could fucking probably see that Temple was bad guy, but like... <sighs> fucking damn it. Fuck. Just, mm, everything about him was awful. It was... Even if we hadn't seen the opening scene. Even if we had not seen that. Jesus Christ! God, I know, I know episode 10 in Red vs. Blue is the episode of reoccurring faces. I know this. I started to say it and then I cut off because I already started the video. But, oh, even on season, season 12 of the Chorus Trilogy, part 2 of the Chorus Trilogy, season 12, episode 10, that's when Carolina shows up. Episode 13, I think that's when, like, Sharkface shows up or, like, has something. Like, in the past, that's when Tech showed up. That's when all of this shit goes down. And of course they would continue it here. Of course they would continue it here. God damn it. Jesus Christ. <sighs> fuck. Just fuck. That's, that's all I have to say to this. That, that's the only response that I have. Is fuck. Okay, so it's someone that Carolina knows. It's someone that Carolina knows that she would be able to recognize by voice alone. I don't know who. God damn it. Is it someone we don't know? Is it someone we barely come into contact with? Like, it's clearly not 4 7. As much as I wished it was her. But God, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. God damn it. Just, God, fuck. Fuck. They're literally left in a room filled with their mistakes. That's why this episode is called Battle Scars. Because it, it is a memoriam for Project Freelancer. They have been locked in their armor in a room filled with old friends that they had to betray to get where they are. Fuck. I knew as soon as they arrived, it was like, nope, that that was that was Temple. That, that was who they were trying to... That was their trap. They fell into their trap precisely for that reason. Because... <sighs> Tucker needs to get his shit together. Like, th this is going to be something that Tucker figures out. It's, it's the same kind of setup as for Chorus. Because with Chorus, you know, the first part was Tucker coming to terms with being a leader. Um, that was, that was part two, or I guess the second half of it, and another part was Wash coming to terms with not being a freelancer. That was a whole other thing. And it's this kind of situation. And fuck, just the amount of background we got on PFL, too. Like, God, it hurts me. <laughs> Cause like, PFL has always been one of my favorite parts of Red vs. Blue. That's what like, really, 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 really got me invested in this. Was all the stuff about Project Freelancer. With Carolina and Wash being my two favorites, and me being heartbroken over what they had to go through. I hated Carolina for most of season nine and then season 10 happened and it became clear exactly what happened to her. And in that moment, she went from being like, wow, I would kill Carolina and not have a single thought about it to, wow, I'm going to protect her with my entire life. She can kick my ass, but I'm going to save her ass. Like, just fuck. They're literally locked in a tower of their own mistakes. Illinois finally got away from the beach and got a, like, he didn't even have to escape. He just didn't make the cut. 
So he completed his job. He got his beach house with a little red boat. And that picture. I'd like to give a huge shout out to Jen Brown, by the way. I don't know if she's ever seen these, but... The voice acting in that scene on the beach. Same, same to Shannon McCormick, just Jesus. Like, if you listen to it again, you can hear Carolina's voice break. Like, the kind of break that you get when you are literally on the verge of tears. Like, not even like your eyes are watering. That is like, it is taking all of the strength that you have not to break down in that moment. And like, it's always been a reoccurring theme, I think, not only in the art that I've done for Red vs. Blue, but a bunch of other art that the freelancers, they, they view themselves in a way as monstrosities. They stab people in the back. They were killing machines. They were guns for hire. They were just hired by a corrupt branch of the military. They're monsters. And it's very clear that Carolina has that mentality. It's a very similar mentality to one that Wash had, except Wash externalized that feeling. That's why, because Wash has his history of anger issues. Wash was externalizing all of that rage and all of that self-loathing. Whereas Carolina, she's never had that option. With the director as her father, she never had the option to be vocal about that. She inter She's internalized all of it. That's the only way she's ever been able to deal with her emotions. And after all of this time, she still has the lighter. Fuck. <laughs> 